everyone i hope you had a good day um today i'll just be following up with our discussion last week which is growing in the faith um as a child of god you know so many times people get born again but then nothing happens afterwards they just continue life um even though a change they became their spirit man became created and all but then you don't see a change in their lives and god expects us to grow as, as his children last week we read um second peter 1 verse 5 to 7 Last week we read it in the King James Version. This week I'll be reading it in the message translation just to get a better perspective on what that scripture says. Um, so I'm just going to read. If you have your Bible, please read with me. Um, so don't lose a minute in building on what you've been given, complementing your basic faith with good character, spiritual understanding, a lot discipline, passionate, patience, reverent wonder, warm friendliness, and generous love, each I mentioned fitting into and developing the others with these qualities active and growing in your lives no grass will grow under your feet no day will pass without its reward as you mature in your experience of our master jesus without these qualities you can't see what's right before you oblivious that your old sinful nature has been wiped off the books um my point of um reference is complementing your basic faith with good character God expects that you build your character. Yes, God expects that you build your character as his child. God expects us because our relationships basically on this earth is to walk with God as our father and to walk with one another. So we need to develop our character. We need to develop integrity. John 13 verse 34 to 35 says that we are to love one another as God has loved us. And so, because you want to, our character, see, your character is to please God. That is what it should be. Because eventually, your your accepting of the Lord Jesus Christ and Lord and Savior is not for you. It is for the Lord Jesus Christ. Your life is now about Jesus because you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not for you. And because it is not for you, then you have to behave like Jesus. You have to um, show Jesus, you know, bring glory to him. So that 5,000 that 5, error check that you're supposed to sign, are you going to add an extra zero behind it to make it 50,000? How will that glorify God, you know? You're a lady and you're trying to meet your target and you're, you're, um, someone is asking you to sleep with him. Will that, if you do that thing, will it glorify God? Yeah, somebody has annoyed you in the office and you think the best way to go about the situation is to begin to spread rumors and stories about that person. Will that glorify God? So... You need to think about those things. Character building. We need to build our characters. We need to build our characters. God is looking for people who will show him to the world. God is looking for people who will represent him. You know, the Bible says that Apostle Paul was praying and he was saying that, that um, I'm a work worthy of you, fully pleasing to him, that we as children of God will work worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing good fruits. Galatians. Galatians. Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23. If you have your Bible, can you just open that with me? Galatians 5, 22 to 23. It talks about the fruits of the Spirit and the things we are supposed to exhibit in our characters as children of God. You know? So I'm just going to read it. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. 22 to 23. The message Bible puts it like this. But what happens when we leave God's way? He brings gifts into our lives, much the same way the fruit appears in an orchard, like affections for others. Exuberance about life, serenity. We develop a willingness to stick with things, a sense of compassion in the earth, in the heart, heart a conviction that is a basic holiness, permits things and people. We find ourselves involved in loyal commitments, not needing to force our way in life able to marshal and direct our energies wisely you know um this is the message translation in king james version we tell us about the fruits of the spirit one of which is love which is the major one and then you find things like joy peace long suffering patience these are the things that the lord wants us to god expects us to show to the world he expects expects us to shine his light to have integrity not that see and my friend one of my friends he told me that whenever someone tells him the person is a Christian. If a person says, okay, I am a Christian and I love God, he begins to be scared because he has been cheated severally by people who have been called Christians. Remember that the Bible, in the Bible, people were first called Christians in Antioch. 
because they behaved like Christ. They behave like Christ. So it's not about you at all, at all. It's not about, it, it's supposed to, whatever you're doing is supposed to bring glory to God. Your character is supposed to bring glory to God. So you should ask yourself, whatever you're doing this week, I want to challenge you in this week, whatever you're doing, is it bringing glory to God? This is a thing, you, this is a question you should ask yourself. Is it bringing, I will ask myself too, is it bringing glory to God? Because this is how we grew in the faith. If it's not bringing glory to that, then you have no business engaging in it. I hope this has um, blessed your heart today. Please let's just practice these things and ensure that whatever we're saying, whatever we're thinking in our hearts, whatever discussions we're engaging, whatever things we're doing is bringing glory to God. And this is how to develop character. This is how to build yourself in the faith. Have a blessed week and shine the light of Jesus. Bye.